Hi there, uh, so this is the full unedited uh, interview that I did with Tony Parsons back in 2016 for the documentary Zero and One, a film about non-duality. I first heard uh, The Open Secret back in 2009 and um, I was totally blown away by the communication and taken by it and a real passion developed and I suppose that passion came across in terms of questions and making podcasts and videos and uh, short films. And uh, my approach with podcasts and interviews is very much jumping in at the deep end, no um, question preparation or anything like that. And I mean, that very much comes across in this um, conversation with uh, Tony. I was quite nervous at the time. But I'm very excited to share it. I had only previously made this available on my Patreon channel and I was just looking at it recently and I thought it would be nice to share it further. Um, also, uh, that communication is shared here now and um, if you're interested in that, my website is unknowing.life. Um, uh, I hold meetings from time to time, so there's a, a mailing list there that you can sign up for. Um, there's also lots of writing and content, and I've written a book called Unknowing. Um, uh, plus, um, on my Patreon channel, there's a monthly meeting, and um, you can subscribe there too. And there's other interviews and meetings that I haven't really posted on this channel, and then but obviously on this channel, there's lots and lots of podcasts, um, so do subscribe. There is Zero and One is on this also, um, if by chance you haven't seen it. And um, so you, you support the channel, it gets it out there by subscribing and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I'm excited for you to see this. Um, this communication is wild and free, it's authorless, it's no one's and um, and it's not about the words or any anything at all like that, but there's a sort of a newness and that very much comes across um, when Tony opens his mouth. So do enjoy. Okay, thank you. Sorry, and and it, it's very funny, right? So the only way I can describe it is, is there's water. And then there's water where you can put colouring in, and then there's beer, right? So it's... <laughs> ah. you know, and I love beer, like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as far as I, I'm concerned, th this message is uh, water. It's the only way I can think about it. And if you try to put something into water, then it's no, it's no longer water anymore. No. And so, but, but also, when you hear people talking, this message can seem like it's... Uh, some, if, they're, if they know something, it can be arrogant, like that person knows something. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas, coming out of you or Kenneth mm. or Jim it's not no it is what it is I don't know anything yeah no. and so but whereas it, I always wondered why I, I, I was irked by some of the other ones and it was just a, a thing yeah like, a feeling why does it feel like they know something yeah yeah no that's uh, it's then forget it so if they think they know it then forget it yeah. so I joked with Jim it's not going to be called this but I joked with Jim about calling this the four horsemen of the apocalypse oh sweet <laughs> it's kind of yeah well, he would love that do you yeah. yeah. so he was putting in a response to an email back to me calling it that and I said we're not calling it that I don't right. know what it's going to be called yet no but it's just a series of four interviews or yeah really or, yeah. I think that okay. is what it's yeah, going to be it's a kind of a uh, I suppose it's a loyalty to what I, what it, this is I, I, I want to kind of get out of the way and not prick with it and put you know if I, I, I put fancy not music and all that but mm. so it would be as much like the water as it can yeah be. yeah that's yeah. right yeah. Yeah. I think so, I know what you mean yeah okay um is it on, yeah? It is on, Oh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, everything is on. So, um, I don't really have a start, but I, and I oh, didn't bring notes. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> but I noticed like... Well, there isn't a start. Yeah, there isn't. You, know, you can't start this because it doesn't start, go on and then end. Yeah. Non-dualism is, is just what is, which is not continuous, but it just is what it is. That's the mystery. Yeah. <laughs> See, but the, the problem is flatline. You know, <laughs> what's flatline? Flatline is, you know, it's not that you can prepare for a chat like this. Oh, no. But it's no. A kind of like, 
you want to still have an interview and uh, <laughs> your brain just you can say something and it'll be <laughs> oh yeah absolutely but I mean in there there's a lot of flatlining because we talk together and then there's a long silence a lot of yeah. silence a lot of silence yeah no, because I, I in a way, of course, there's nothing to say. Mm. There isn't anything to say. Whatever this is now is bullshit. Yeah. Because it's words trying to uh, trying to talk about something that is a mystery and it is beyond words. Yeah. The only thing that words can do is to somehow disentangle the words that you create or the beliefs you create about you being a real person in a real story. That's all that the words can do. They untangle something in the, in the belief system. But basically, this is energetic. This is about energy, and is completely wordless. Yeah, like I'm actually, I can feel myself trembling a little bit. All oh, right. I, when I, I after the weekend with Andreas and Jim, I actually wanted to run a million miles away from oh. this. I actually, and I've been around it for a while. Mm. I've been popping up and around in the back <laughs> of these yes, meetings yeah. for a long time. Yeah. And but after the weekend, I actually thought I couldn't bear to sit in a room with you to hear this again. Right, oh, no, no, no. That, I, I, that is a fact. That's fair know. enough. That's yeah. okay. Because this is essentially something that the me doesn't want, the self doesn't want to hear. It wants to run as far away as possible. Yeah, I wanted my life back. I wanted to go home and get my life back. Yeah, yeah. Be with my kids and my yeah. family and have everything, yeah, yeah. safe. <laughs> I know, it's funny, isn't it? This is dangerous. This is the most dangerous message there is. Yeah. And, and, yeah. It uh, is, because it's a killer. It's a killer. I do say to people in the meeting, there's a killer in the room. Yeah. It isn't me, it isn't anyone, but it's the killer. Yeah. It comes, it can't, it's the lover that kills. Uh, and in, in a way I could have danced around this, flirted with it, you know, kind of going, oh no, I can, yeah, yeah. I yeah, 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 yeah. And then I spent a weekend in, the, uh, you did the Irish one way back, and at the end of that now, you know, I don't know, maybe something happened, maybe it doesn't matter whether it did or didn't, but I know that I kind of, ran again mm. ran away from it mm. again we could say and because the closer you know i actually yeah. thought well, there's nothing i can the horrible thing is there's nothing in this for me i couldn't get my head around no. there's nothing in fact oh, no. and then i'm still drawn to it i yeah. am equally i've heard you say rep repulsion and attraction but mm. it is that mm. it is I want to fucking run for the hills yeah. and yet it's look what are we doing yeah here, i know i know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and i'm doing this like you know. Yeah, I know. It's a funny one. It's a fun. It's the it's the one that everybody wants to get away from, but also is fascinated by. Yeah. Because of course, what's fascinating about it is that it offers them nothing. It doesn't offer anything to the seeker, but also it doesn't have any expectation. It's no demand that you should be a certain way. It's not even a recognition that you exist as a real person. That's amazing. It's so rare to come across that. All the, you could go to a million teachers or hundreds of teachers and as far as they're concerned they are real and you are real and they've got something to teach you to get somewhere. This is completely and utterly different. There's no recognition of anyone and, there's a, and it comes out of the sense that there isn't anything to learn or anywhere to go. That's amazing. Very rare. <laughs> it's outrageous. It is out, it's wonderfully outrageous. The other thing I'd love saying to people uh, sort of people who try to work it out, this message doesn't make sense. Yeah. I hope you realise that. This message doesn't make sense. And the, this, this message, as far as the individual is concerned, is completely and utterly and wonderfully useless. Mm. But some people hear that and they still, there's still something there. There's a resonance that happens with yeah. it. Not theirs, but a resonance. That's... Yeah, it is extraordinary that, you know, it's the grappling. It's like, you know, a sense of somebody trying to still get in, to get, find a place here mm. with this. You yes, know, And yet at the same time, it's kind of yeah. fucking, there's nothing. No, no nothing, nothing. N there's nothing like it anywhere. Oh, no, you know, there there's isn't. There's just nothing. No, no, no. There just isn't. And it's very clear to see the difference. There is a huge difference between not this is and what the the teachings or the path orientated teachings are yeah it's, they, they don't it's not the same language they don't meet in any way at all and it's funny if if, if there was a way you, you know 
if there was a way to get to this thing that everybody this enlightenment I'd be there like I'd be at the, I'd, you know you know you know I, if there was a way I'd be there I know but there are, is, that's that but what, to me a good few years ago but, ha, but then what's amazing about that what you've just said is that there how can there be a way to that which already is this is actually what people search for this what is so there isn't a way to what is there just is what is yeah it's not something that can be found or got it already is the only thing that's in the way of it is that which believes it isn't, which is the seeker. The seeker thinks it's somewhere else. After I've meditated, after I've self-inquired for three years, then I'll find it. No, you're sitting on it, you're breathing it. It is this. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> there's no search, there's no... How can there be a path? How can there be approach to that which already is? It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And, you know, knowing this uh, you talk about the lottery from time to time but knowing this is like having the lottery numbers but you can't play you the lottery say that, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. absolutely useless and it's actually when the, when you realise that knowing is useless oh totally gets in the way knowing go, is the great yeah. it, it's, it's and so the other useless. thing about it is that you talk about a lottery ticket but when it's found the lottery <laughs> numbers nobody wins yeah. There's nobody that wins. Nobody knows there's oneness. Nobody knows anything. It's the end of that which knows and thinks it's aware. It's the end of awareness. And I would have a memory of So, you know, I have a memory of this, but it's still, I, I have a memory of what you were talking about, of this, that, you know, I can't, I can't argue with it. You know what I mean as well? I can't no. say this is wrong or this is mm. bullshit because that would be just totally untrue as well, you know? So... Uh, uh, because, yeah. We do get people arguing, people who are traditionalists, yeah. who are, still believe in the dream that there is someone who can actually, through their effort, find something. People do come and say that. Yeah. But, like the woman I spoke to yesterday, who was probably taken uh, psychedelics for 50 years, right? Oh, God. And I, I, I brought up that I was going to chat to you and... Uh, you know, I kind of said something about it, and she, she said, "Oh no, 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 no! You still need a little bit of the ego there oh, to control, sorry. to know, to you know, to get through life. You know. To get through life. Yeah, yeah. This is the whole uh, dream. I've got to be here. Me has to be here to get through life. But the the, the irony of that is that me's never got through life. There's no, it's an illusory energy which thinks it's in control and can get through life. There isn't a life to get through. There's just a life." There isn't any way to get to. I think this is the great fear of this message, and that is that it, you think you're going to lose the control, but it's a control you never had. Yeah. Nobody's in control. There wasn't anyone. That so even that sense of being a person, sometimes, from time to time, it's like being an alien, not wanting to ever change, wanting mm. to be, you know, not an alien, but mm. not, not wanting anything to change, no. really. Because like, you know, even yesterday I was going for, I was wrecked and I went for a burger, right, this is a bullshit story, but I, I kind of was going, oh, I don't know where I'm going now, you know, mm, I don't know, yeah. I, and it was kind of like, oh, I'm back in the room now and I'm grand. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. What, what, you know, I, but then there was an obvious kind of feeling and I was going, what, what the fuck are you trying to control? What's going yeah, on? Like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, so there is a kind of a, a grappling. Yeah, know, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, there is. I asked the other guys, I said, you know, one and zeros. I said, there's a zeros and ones, ones and zeros. There's somebody and nobody talking. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's just, how, you know, I'm, mm. as far as I'm concerned, despite <laughs> in this environment, it's, it doesn't hold up as strongly. <laughs> but, you know, there's somebody here, who's, you know, who's coming to me, Tony Paris, to do an interview, is preparing for the yeah. interview. And there's nobody there talking. Like, I was actually going to take a picture of what oh. I was waiting of. He's sitting here and nobody in the chair. Yeah, no, uh, yes, that's a good idea yeah. because that's how it is. There isn't anyone here. There's just the, his life. There's just aliveness. There's a response that comes out, but it doesn't come from anyone. It's completely from no thing. But then that is from no thing also. But that's no thing dreaming that it's something. That's all. That's all it is, all the difference. It's just a dream. I am something. I am a person. 
And of course, a lot of people project on in the audience. A lot of people will project onto this yeah. that I am someone with something that's known. Yeah. Uh, there isn't anyone here that knows anything at all. But but there is a projection from the audience. I am someone, so Tony Parsons must be someone. How could it be otherwise? Yeah, I would have felt that for a while yeah. that uh, you're special or something like that. Yeah, you well, know, it, it, it does come out I'm, somebody I'm, sitting at the top of a room and that kind of thing. I know, but the, uh, the irony of that is that I, uh, how can nothing be special? That's yeah. And there are lots of other nothings in the room here. There are a few nothings, and they are all over the place now. It's happening all over the place. Yeah. So there are, it's not just me standing there, but uh, I can point out people in the room are. Who, for whom it's all over, yeah. and they're not special. They drive buses or go to school or whatever, you know. Yeah, but they keep on coming. I mean, I've been doing this for fifteen, twenty years now, and the audiences average around about a hundred people at a time, or more, or slightly less. But and people just go on and on, coming all over Europe and in England. They just yeah. go on coming. There's something that, something that yeah. pulls them into it. Yeah, well, I've said a few times, I'm not going to that stupid thing No, again. no, <laughs> God. <laughs> I said to Jamie, you know Jamie? In oh, Jamie, yeah. 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 And uh, I said to Jamie, that's a stupid message, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have enough of it, but, oh, I, uh, you know, sweet. it is, um, but why, uh, not why, but it's obvi uh, it was apparent when I came home from the two guys, the feeling of, been completely threatened by this. yeah you know the the, uh, the game and the story of oh, this is a load of rubbish doesn't hold when you're, you've gone and you've got equipment and yeah. you're over there and you're doing this you know yeah. but it doesn't hold in there either people are sitting there trying to reject it the, the mind the seeker has to reject this in a way so they're sitting in there listening to it and part of them wants to throw it away and reject it. But there's something else that resonates with it. Not about understanding it, yeah. although that, you know, the message can obviously be understood in a logical sort It of can, way. in a logical yeah, sense. You know, yeah. The artificial me that suddenly s seems to arise. All, uh, that's, yeah. all that you could follow and understand. I know a lot of people that understand this message, but there's still a me there. There's still the energy of me there. But people will sit there and reject it, but there's something else that's happening. Yeah, Which okay. is completely beyond words. Yeah. Well, you see, I that's could, I that's could the up, power of it. I could get up and do it. I think yeah. after the experience, I nearly... There was no, you couldn't do it, because I don't do it. Yeah. But I could, I'm saying I could talk. Oh, right, I, yeah. I, I, I could talk, but it would be like reading a book. Yeah, you'd be... It would yeah. be coming out of me knowing something. Yeah. Um, I actually, the last day I was saying, this is... Why would anybody ever up and talk about this is the worst possible thing to talk about i mean in a way i don't actually talk about it well yeah. I, there's no i here but, but but it isn't really talked about it's it the talk is more to do with exposing the myth of there being someone and something called enlightenment that they can find that's more what they're talking is it's a sort of deconstruction of the illusion that you're real and that the world is real and that you you can find something real called enlightenment so it the talk really more exposes it, and there's a sharing, obviously, with the people in the audience about how the me feels and what, and where it came from and why it constructs itself. Yeah. And also, the, there's a lot of talk about the absolute futility of seeking. So there's quite a lot of that. So in that sense, at that level, there's a there's a talking going on about that that construct and the deconstruction of it. But of course, the, the most powerful thing is wordless. Yeah, and that is. Um, again, you know, I thought I could grapple with this. I, th I thought I could get my head around, you know, not. That well, you could get your head around it, but you wouldn't. And, it, but it, it w and I'm trying to say is, in a kind of a, a way, I thought I could get my hands around this message. Yeah, yeah. And then, and, and I thought then I thought it was cool with this message. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. it was kind of like, after the weekend, it was kind of like. There yeah. you go. Just, just in case. Oh, <laughs> that's what sensory wise. It kind of felt like that, you know. Mm. It, it was mm. just a little. I don't know. Mm. And that was pure because I actually I sat in, in the meeting in German, you know, 
Oh, really? Oh, God. I said, and, and we do old Andreas. Yeah. yeah, it was obviously in German. So I interviewed him in English, but I had to, in German. Mm. And, and it was kind of, you know, I want to see what it's like, you know, the energy in the room. This one, you know. But I was exhausted, George. Yeah, I, I was really, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, just. It does hit different people in different ways. Some people are very, very. Some people call it uh, bubbles in their blood, or like champagne or something. There's a lot of different ways that it to seems to affect people. Yeah, repulsion and run for the hills. Yeah, that's the one you've got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want my life back, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it, but isn't it funny though, is this idea that, you know, for a while, there's an idea that enlightenment and it all, oh, and then, and then it's kind of like, I, do you know what now? I won't have it. I'm grand, you know. It's <laughs> yeah. enough for me. But of course, the, the other thing about it is there is no such thing as enlightenment or liberation or seeking or separation. They're simply appearances. They have no validity at all of any kind. That's the other thing that this does. It destroys any idea that there's anything important or significant or that has meaning or purpose. It completely destroys that whole thing. You're left. What you're left with is, or somewhere, what you're left with is nothing. You're if you come to a meeting here and there's a real openness thought that you're left with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lovely. It's gorgeous. I, when I was chatting to Jim, I actually sent him only a tiny snippet of what we talked about, but I, he, there was two seconds of He said, was well, the last place he would look. And I said to him, and you can't look there. And mm. he goes, exactly. No. And then fucking, I yeah. said, you fuck her. And it was... The yeah, really I know, it's so humorous. That's the other thing I love about it. The humour, not a joke, I do tell jokes sometimes, but the humour that's in this, mm. it comes out in, in, it's just lovely. Residential, people are roaring with laughter a lot of the time about, and you couldn't say what that was about. Yeah. But it is, in a way, it makes the story that we believe in, or the, the me believes in, so ridiculous and endearing as well. Because that's a lovely apparent story. There's nothing wrong or right with it, but it is a story. But all the time you're in it, you think it's real. That's the joke. Yeah, yeah. That's the joke. <laughs> I think I think the the most the thing that, that that in a way is different. You can never say it, but but in a way it's a, a, the foundation of all this is. But what people are looking for is not some spiritual orgasm or anything special or light sort of. It's actually about something totally ordinary, like sitting on a seat or walking out of the room or breathing. It's it's about something that's completely ordinary and constantly happening. So I'm always saying to people, what you long for is constantly happening to you right now. It's happening to you. What you long for is happening to you, like an ache in the arm or feeling warm or having a thought. That's the beloved. That's the that's what you long for, but you can't have it. It's just happening, mm. and your difficulty as a, a as a me or a self is that the awareness you think you have keeps everything away. Like people sit on a chair and they're aware of sitting on a chair, and that creates a separation. I am a person in here that's aware of something else called sitting on a chair. That's how people remain apart. That's the, that's the dilemma. That's the flat line. That's the flat line, man. <laughs> yeah. It is. And there's nothing to say about it. Yeah. And, and, you know, people will say, well, what are you left with if there's no awareness? And you, nobody can tell you that. I can't tell you that. It's unknowable. It is the unknowable business. But it's everything. It isn't some strange thing up in the sky. It's the leaves, this guy here, it's this chair, it's the voice, it's whatever it is. So the beloved is constantly with you. You can't escape from what you long for. It's constantly with you because all there is, is what is. It's, isn't that stunning? People rush all over the world, they meditate, they do this chanting thing, uh, with with apparent gurus, they try to do self inquiry, and what they don't realise is that where they are and what they are is what it is is what they love. <laughs> it would be it would it would be 
serious and sad if it was important. Yeah. It's only important to the seeker. It's not important to this. Nothing's important. There just is what there is. And, you know, maybe that is why when I heard this ages ago, I read it, a line, there's nobody that can mm. get enlightened. And the kind of a bell went, what the fuck is <laughs> that? Okay. That's, but, you know, what is that? I've never heard that before. Yeah. And I, I, can't, and I, st I can't stand this idea that something is special. I hated all the oh. things out there that would tell me to do A and B and C. I had oh. enough of that my whole life with everything. And so, and I remember, I still remember the Friday night in Dublin and you got up, I, I, I actually, st I was telling you something stupid, but anyway, I, I arrived at the meeting somehow on a Friday and I had been at Eckhart Tall and all oh, these okay. type of things, right? And I sat in the room and I kind of went, I hear now, what? What's this? What's, what's yeah. this that he's going on about? What the hell? You know, and then I came yeah. home that evening and I said to my wife, uh, uh, I said, I, I, actually, this is kind of like love because really this chap could get stoned for what he's saying. Yeah. He could get stoned. <laughs> and I said to you the next day, it felt like love. And, she, and you said, it's not the love that you think it is. It's no, unconditional yeah. love. And, but I did have the sense of this. Yeah, it's a different absolutely. sort of a love, though. Totally. Utterly. Yeah. Utterly. Yeah. It's stunning, that love. It's just stunning. And yet it's very gentle. It's very ordinary in a way. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> In Ireland, I think it might not have been that weekend, but I was wearing a black shirt, and on the next day I said to people, I'm wearing a black shirt today because God has died. Well, actually, a lot of the people in the audience, they got really angry, and they were shouting and screaming, they left at tea time. They didn't, they didn't get up right away and walk out. But. So there is a lot of what what a Christian or Buddhist would say is blasphemous about this because it completely disregards well, see, any I belief system. I, I love that. I would just check one thing here, sorry. I, I love that because oh, it's this idea of parenting and, it, you know, mm. of this, you're this, and, uh, you know, and this, uh, I suppose that is the anarchic uh, yeah. of, of it's this. Totally and anarchy. And, and, uh, you know, the Pure real, anarchy. Yeah. It's the only pure anarchy, really. We're seeing a lot of apparent anarchy in the world now, and I think there's a reason for that, but this is pure anarchy. It doesn't recognise any sort of authority at all, or hierarchy. Mm -hmm. There's no hierarchy, there's no authority, because all there is, is this. <laughs> when you say that, it's like it's the first time you've said it. You know, yeah. when, when you say, no, it's it is. It's like you, well, that's the, just that's got here to pack of candy yeah. and it's... That's the other amazing thing about this. I've been doing it for 20 years, let's say. Yeah. And people say, surely you get the same question. Nothing is ever the same. Everything is new. I shall be everything new. Yeah. There isn't anything that's ever the same. It's alive and it's it's instantly alive in that, uh, in that isness. I was going to say moment, but people then think there's a moment. But it's in that is this that it's instantly. So a questioner, you know, asking a question, it to me is just wonderful. I think it's marvelous that the the the, the self, the me, is prepared to ask a question. Even I think it's fun. I think it's great, and I love it. It's all new. Yeah. Everything is new. Yeah. Because it is new. Everything is new because it's instantly out of nothing. That's the wonder. That's the love affair. And that's like, in a way, you know, when you get up there and told the joke about the California album, that you said it wasn't a joke, but the kind of, like, yeah. I, it's the, it's the, you can't do anything with it sort of thing. <laughs> it's the same sort of thing in a way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't do anything with no, it. No, you can't do anything. <laughs> Nobody can. Neither can I. Mm. I can't do anything with it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, how are you doing for time? I'm all right because it starts at two. Okay. I'll probably go in there in a little while. Um, it's equally mind blowing, and uh, yeah, it's, it actually it's just mind blowing, really. Yeah, because it it's just nothing. Well, it is. It blows the mind. Yeah. Mind will fight with it. The thinking, you know, intellect will try and fight with it, but it can't fight with it because it does nothing to get hold of. No, there's nothing to get hold of.
Um, I love in a way when I hear you saying, "This is hopeless." Yeah, and, I, and then you yeah. go, <laughs> "Yeah, you've never any, you know, nowhere else on the planet will you get got somebody no. going, it's hopeless." I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I love, there are certain lines I love, like somebody says, there's nothing I can do, and I say to them, no, it's not that there's nothing you can do, it's far worse than that. There's no you. You know, the whole idea you can't do anything sort of implies there is a real you there that now can't do anything. It's got nothing to do with you at all. There is no you. People who? Yeah, exactly. We're so in that, you know, the seeker's so in the habit of thinking there's a me that has to do or not do something. It's just crazy. Yeah, but that is everything though. In yeah. this life, everything is if I teaching. do a certain thing and yeah. if I can you'll turn up and, you yeah. know, and really then try hard, yeah, I'm you'll gonna, get a reward. I'm going to get it, yeah. I? That's <laughs> really... But then, you actually, you don't want it. No. And then some people argue, oh, well, I'll do nothing. So then I say to them, well, all you're now doing is doing nothing yeah. it's doing not doing you know it's it, i'm sorry there's no escape there's nothing you can do about it yeah is there there's any idea there's something you can do about it like acceptance or openness or surrender it's bullshit yeah the, me doesn't want to surrender or give in it wants to go on fighting and looking for something it's in your, it's at war with itself so it's always battling on that's the law of the way Tony. Yeah. you know the um Jim said, uh, the, well, the message can't be any other way than the message is. No. And oh, that's no. the thing, you know, that's the difference, no. I think. If, it, if there is a difference, it's... Uh, you can tell right away. Yeah. People say to me, oh, so there's so-and-so speaking now. I wonder what, I, I watch it for about two minutes, and within two minutes, they've already gone over into the dream. Yeah. It's, it's obvious they're back, they're still in the dream. Whatever non-dual speak they use. It's so dissatisfying, though, that, in a yeah. way, this idea of, no, no one's something. I mean, okay, good luck with that. You can yeah. bring that along with you for a while, but it's... And there's so much out there that comes under the heading of non-duality, yeah. which has absolutely nothing to do with it at all. Yeah. It just simply is dualistic dreaming. If you're, if you're nothing, then it can go on forever. I could talk there for 300 years because I'm not doing it. Yeah. It's completely effortless. But if you're trying to do it, just forget it. And I suppose that's the freedom that comes across, in a way, you know, in the meetings. And yeah. It can be overpowering, it can be whatever, but it is, that's what's happening in the room, really. And I think the other thing that's very powerful is that there's obviously no self-consciousness. There's nobody here trying to please anybody or displease anybody. There's nobody here that actually, in a sense, has any investment in what's going on at all. That comes across very powerfully, I think. What's he on? What's he about, this guy? Well, he isn't. There isn't anyone. Ha <laughs> um, ha! So I'll put the, the last bit here. Yeah. I think it's the last bit. It's probably more for myself as opposed to this. Um, this idea of, um, you know, in the last few weeks I felt like I've gone mad between, uh, you know, and I've heard you talk about meaning and being, but you know, even again, this is me trying to get something, so mm. we, 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 you can spot all that, right? But you know, it's, it's totally apparent, and then, oh, just what's that? And you know, th so in other words, nobody or nothingness or whatever, I have memories of it constantly, of, not, of nobody being there. I have memories of yeah, it. Yeah, okay. And so this kind of feeling of, well, you know, maybe. I can get this still, and oh, isn't that just so? And yet, equally, it's it's kind of a want to run from. That's it, so ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. then there's bordering on kind of bordering yeah. on kind of insane yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Well, in a way, it's a sort of. I mean, it's a schizophrenia. Me is schizophrenic in a sense because it's saying there is this, and I can, but I can get it, and that's the, that's the split. Yeah. Not real, not not obviously being in the space, or but nobody's ever in. So where there, there's a suddenly. Uh, recognition by no one that uh, this is it. Why would you need to get it if it's... Yeah. That isn't there, you see, and that's the problem for me. This is... 
What's he mean that? Oh, I can do that. <laughs> what do you mean? But I'm doing it. That's the trouble. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I can't even say to you, just wait. I love that though, yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing to wait for. Yeah. yeah. Wait for it to happen? Bullshit. You know, it's not going to happen. Liberation doesn't happen. The only thing that does is that which thinks it is going to happen. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> come on! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I know I'll have face. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Everybody looking at us. Yeah, we were, yeah. <laughs> well, they're having an interview outside. Oh, yeah, well. They're not Just they're mixing punching it up, yeah. the lights out of each other. Great. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, fella. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you uh, so much. Yeah. I probably would get some footage of inside. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. And I might put that yeah. little device down that's there fine. beside. Yeah. Great. But I'd get home and I'd be alive and I'd be grand. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're out, <laughs> I'll be it. home then. Once you're out of it, you'll be alright. <laughs> I'd hug my family and everything would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> For a while. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you. Okay, thanks for setting me up. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm glad we did it because it was a uh, touch and go with we better manage it. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. I think I'm gonna faint. Mm.